That's fine. Everything's fine. Good morning. Oh, my music's not playing. My media source. It's fine. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I um, set up my computer so that I have one screen here and one screen here and then you're right there. <laughs> so I have this little like set up here. Um, finally dual screened. I have this new mug that first of all I love. Um, J oh, hold on. I started myself into a text conversation. Jacob Holster. No. Host Hostelter. I don't know. Ceramics. Super good. Well, I used it for my um, my soup on, uh, on Easter. And then um, I was afraid to wash it, so I just messaged him to see if I could wash it. And it turns out I can. But I hand washed it the first time, and there's like... There's like chunks of, um, like the sauce in my, not sauce, that's weird. Um, like the, it was like a thick ham and potato soup. So there's like potato in my tea. It's kind of gross. Sorry. Good morning, Maya. Good morning, Whitney. Um, I might just have a conversation with you guys because I think you're here. Um, who else is here? I got three viewers. So I think it's, yep, there we are. One, two, three. I don't count. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, you guys, I am seriously running out of ideas for this. I think Friday we'll do interview skills and tying a tie and stuff, which, first of all, is important for girls to know just as much as guys, so we're going to do this together. Um, but I'm running out of ideas. So I, I want to say, bear with me here, what if I only live stream Corvid courses on Mondays, and then what if Wednesdays, because I always record myself talking to myself for my math lessons, what if I record my, let's say, Algebra 1 lessons on probably f Fridays and Algebra 2 lessons on Wednesdays, and then you can watch me live the week before it actually posts? Tell me what you think in the comments, please, because I'm, I'm thinking about this, but I don't want to, like, take this away. But I'm, <laughs> I'm really running out of things. I even checked Reddit. I've said this a couple times. I checked Reddit. And I also found a, like, 101 things that your daughter or son needs to know before they leave the house or whatever. And it's honestly everything I've already done. Because <laughs> it's like, it broke up one of my lessons into, like, five things. So, I'm seriously running out. I think that I've taught you everything you need to know. But I'm sure I'm going to think of other things, which is why I kind of want to keep Mondays. Um, because it's a nice start to the week, I think. Tell me what you think. I don't know where you are in my chat. I don't know where I am in my chat. It's just me talking today, so I won't even be able to know. It's fine. Everything's fine. I just glitched out. Okay, just to recap. <laughs> live stream Covid courses on Mondays. Live stream Algebra 2 on Wednesdays. And probably live stream Algebra... Did I say that the same way the first time? I'll figure it out and I'll post it, but, like, that idea. Maya likes it. Yay, Lauren likes it, too. Whitney, are you in? <laughs> You're my Algebra 1 um, spokesperson right now. We'll see if you get there. Okay, I like this idea, too. I think I might do it, so I'll post a lot of places that I'm doing that um, starting next week. So I'm going to record my lessons for Monday. I don't know when I'm going to do that this week, but I'll do that to talking to myself again. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, so next week I'll start recording for the week after live because I need you guys to ask me questions. <laughs> I don't know what the questions are going to be. You ask me so many things that I don't, I don't know. All right. Whitney's gone <laughs> or doesn't care. It's fine. Um, but I'm glad you, two okay, I got two vote for two. Plus, that'll keep me um, more on top of it, because I, I always, like, on Tuesdays, I'm like, oh, what am I going to teach them on Monday, or on Wednesday? 
Um, and this way I'll actually have like a deadline for my lessons. We'll see what happens. Okay, great. Um, do you, how about this? You guys get to decide. Algebra 2 on Wednesdays or Algebra 2 on Fridays? You let me know. Um, I can't do it on Mondays because it posts on Mondays and I can't, I don't have that kind of turnaround. <laughs> it's gross. Okay. Let's talk about feeding yourself. You ready for this? I'm going to keep, I'm going to catch up to the comments once you, once you see the things. But let's talk about it. And I don't mean like picking up a spoon and scooping up the thing and putting it in your mouth. We know how to do that. I really, really hope. Um, but I want to talk about when, if you live alone, or if you live with other people but are responsible for your own meals, how do you do it? Okay, so let's talk about this. First of all, when I live alone, sometimes in my life it was really stressful to go eat out because then I was just sitting at a table by myself um, and it would get, felt kind of weird. Okay, Algebra 2 Wednesdays. Lauren decided. <laughs> That's today. So this time next week we'll do Algebra 2. I'll cut my viewers in half. <laughs> um, okay. Eating out. Um, now... I figured it out and I really want, um, I want to explain to you why eating out's not as cost effective as staying at home and making food is. So we're going to go through that today. That's my goal. That's my lesson. Um, but I do want to say that my caveat is every now and again, it's cheaper to just go out and buy a hamburger from a McDonald's and reconnection successful. Okay, sometimes it's cheaper to just go get a, deal, a good deal. Um, the thing is that like when I went to the COA, every now and again I'd have like a rough day <laughs> and I would buy um, not just tacos but also like a $2 Pepsi, not cost effective. Or like uh, Shirley Temple, which is um, super good. It's like Sprite and Grenadine or something. And Grenadine is just like a cherry flavor. Super good. Put the cherries in there. Then my $3 meal plus tip becomes like a 6 7 maybe $10 meal, um, and I don't have leftovers for the next day. Not as good. So keep an eye out for those extra costs. Okay, so now here's my first argument. There's a Mexican place right up the street from me. Bomb fajitas. Like, they're super good comes out on that sizzling plate, I wrap it up in a tortilla shell, I get my chips and everything like that, but that's, it's $18.95 for fajitas. It doesn't sound like a lot, but let's talk about this. I can make fajitas at home. I can get, um, what I would normally do is I would buy a two pack of steak and I would cook one up with some mushrooms and just eat it for dinner one night. And then the next night I would slice up all of the, um, the leftover steak and grill it for fajitas. So that's like maybe 10 bucks for the two pack. So let's say $5 of steak. Maybe it's like a buck or two for um, the onion and the um, pepper. And I could even probably throw in a little bit of mushroom in the same thing. Still good. Still one or two bucks. I'm at like $7. Um, a pack of tortillas that'll last me for a month is maybe like two bucks. Um, I looked it up, um, cause I was going to like go grocery shopping, but I need to sign up and I didn't want to sign up cause I might accidentally buy <laughs> the food or something. I don't know how that works, but, um, I'm st I'm an old person. I don't know. Um, so I looked it up. There's a, um, there's a, uh, England based, um, blog that does feeding a family for cheap. They can feed a family of four making tortillas, or sorry, making fajitas for 10 euro, which is about 10.83 now um, in, in US dollars. And that includes them making the guacamole. Like this is everything. <laughs> um, and you just need like a little, maybe a seasoning packet for fajitas. But what I would prefer to do is once I need something that I enjoy, I'll buy like a shaker bottle of it instead of a packet of it. First of all, I don't want to keep like opening an entire packet if I'm not going to make like a huge thing of fajitas. Um, 
and so I want to be able to like season it how I want. But it's, you can just get some cumin, salt and pepper, like you're good. <laughs> That's a fajita. Now here's the deal. That'll be more than enough for me because I used like half of an onion and a whole tomato or whole um, pepper. Um, too much, too many leftovers. I don't really want fajitas again for two days. That just doesn't seem good. I could bring it to work with me and make it there. I don't really want to. Here's what I do with fajitas. So I already had the one meal that was steak and um, mushroom. I just grilled it up, put it in my um, cast iron skillet, throw it on the grill, sear the steak on both sides, put it in the oven. Beautiful. And I used my leftover mushrooms, made some new um, uh, veggies, the other steak. That's the second meal. Third meal, get the tortillas out again, get some cheese. Cheese, sorry, tortilla, cheese, fajita mix, cheese, tortilla. That's a, um, oh my gosh, what's that called? Um, I have it written on here somewhere. It's fine. That's a quesadilla. There we go. That's three meals. That's feeding me. I don't need to go spend 20 bucks on fajitas at Laja when I can make it myself for three meals. Okay. Here's another example of, because I don't want to be bored. I don't want to just keep eating fajitas all week. So let's say I make tacos. Okay. And I do it, I do it my way with ground beef, um, onion, tomato, probably the onion that's left over from the half a stock that I just did for, um, my fajitas. Um, use the, use the taco shells that I still have, the tortillas. Okay. I use the cheese that I used on my quesadilla. So I have all this in my fridge just from my one grocery shopping trip. Um, I like to put olives on it cause I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you, how you like your tacos. Um, I know there's street tacos and I know there's a taco that I make at home and they are very different tacos. Okay. So I have my tacos. I, it's hard to buy less than a pound of meat maybe 0.75 pounds, three quarter pounds. Um, that's way too much for tacos. So I have leftover taco meat. You know what I do with that leftover taco meat? I turn it into taco salad. I turn it into nachos. Um, I personally turn it into taco pizza, which sounds really weird, I know, but hear me out. Pizza is the bread, the sauce, the cheese, and any toppings you want on it. Original, yeah, good. I'm glad it's not just me, Lauren. <laughs> Um, original pizza was just the bread and the sauce <laughs> and then any toppings. I didn't even add the cheese to it. So hear me out. I, you can buy a frozen pizza dough, um, for, I think it's $4 at the co-op is what I get it. And that's expensive stuff cause it's a co-op, right? So I take it out of the freezer when I make my tacos next day, it's ready to um, roll out. You have to like, let it be at room temperature. So you let it roll out. And then the sauce, use salsa. Why not? It's a tomato base. You're fine. So use salsa. Um, put your cheese down, or no, put your taco meat down and then put the cheese on top of it because you don't want the taco meat to dry out. But then same thing you would put on a taco. Onions, tomatoes, olives, slamming. It's so good. I can make anything into a pizza. <laughs> Any leftovers I have, I can make into a pizza. One thing I'll do frequently is I'll have like a bag of um, bacon bits in the fridge because those just last forever for some reason, which is very concerning. And then whenever I have chicken, I'll have chicken and rice and I'll have like, I'll just slice a little tiny bit off of it and save it for pizza. I'll make chicken bacon ranch pizza. Ranch is always in the fridge. Bacon's always in the fridge. Chicken is left over from a different meal. And I have a second meal out of it. Um, what if I have, here's another thing I could do, soup. <laughs> um, it's way cheaper just to make a giant batch of soup. It really is. Cause if you think about it, um, you can get like a can of soup for, um, I don't know, like $5 or so from like Campbell's. Okay. They did it for you. Or you get, um, I get, so I make chili sometimes, right? So what I'll do is I'll have two kinds of, of beans. Oh my gosh, Maya, no, try taco pizza. It's delicious. Um, too picky. 
Um, okay, two kinds of beans. I don't know, kidney and black beans, sure. Put them in a pot. Tomato, I use um, a big can, like the huge can of uh, crushed tomatoes or diced tomatoes. Dump that in there. A little tiny can of tomato paste. That's chili. Chili seasoning, obviously. And then I like my chili like I like my women, nice and meaty. <laughs> sort of thing. Um, and so I can put my ground beef in there. All right. So get a pound or two pounds of ground beef, throw it in there. In college, I literally, I would make myself chili on a Sunday night. I would have it for lunch and dinner for most meals for that week. And I would, I would get clever with it. Cause again, I get bored. I'm not too picky. I am kind of too picky. I'll talk about that too. But I get, um, I get taste bored. So I'm like, I don't want to eat more chili. So maybe I'll get a hot dog, throw some chili on it. I got a chili dog, get some, um, what's that? There's like a chip. Thank, thank you. Get my round of applause. Um, there's those chips that are like curled up. The Fritos. Throw some Fritos in it or put it in a Frito bag. That's a different meal. Um, put sour cream or don't put sour cream, right? So I like would mix it up so that way it doesn't always taste like the same thing. Oh, is it because of my like and my women thick? I don't like my men thick. I like my women thick. Thick and meaty. I like... I like my men skinny for some reason. It's fine. No, no stereotypes here. <laughs> um, that'll, that will last me so much longer than, um, than my one can of Campbell's soup. No offense to Campbell's. Love them for when I'm sick, but it doesn't last me very long, right? Okay. Now, Let's talk about health. I am not, let me just reclass, clarify this. I'm not a healthcare professional. <laughs> I don't, I don't um, do this. But I know, because I took a class in college, um, that protein makes you feel fuller longer. But it's a slow burn. And so what you do is when you're super hungry, not you're not supposed to do this, but what you automatically usually do is eat something sugary because then you feel fuller immediately but it, it burns off in like an hour or two hours or it gets like stuck in my stomach, like my belly. Um, protein's what you need. So whenever you can throw protein into a meal, it's a good thing for you. Um, and that doesn't have to be all the time, um, ground beef or chicken, but I have like a thing of chicken in my freezer where it's like individually wrapped already. And I just, um, take one out in the morning I can eat it by the after or by the next day. Um, ground beef, you can just, I just take ground beef out and cook it frozen. And I just flip it over and just, like scrape off the cooked part. Flip it over, scrape off the cooked part. But it could also be, um, there's other things that are packed with protein. Really gross, <laughs> personally, but broccoli is one of them. Um, peanut butter, peanuts, legumes, quinoa. There's, there's ways that you can get protein without spending a lot of money. Um, by the way, rice cookers seem like a crazy amount. They're like 20 bucks for a rice cooker. That's pretty small. Um, but you, you save so much money buying rice in a bag than you do buying it in like a microwave pouch. It's crazy. It's like three bucks for a microwave pouch. So let's do this math really quick. 20 bucks. Seven of those pays for my rice cooker. And then rice is like $3 for a bag that will last me for so long. <laughs> totally worth it buying, buy a rice cooker. Now there are certain ways that I had to get kind of creative because sometimes I, sometimes I just want spaghetti. I just want it. But again, it's hard to make like a little bit of spaghetti. I used to, I used to just use a little bit of the, of the spaghetti sauce and then, um, like boil the rest, not boil, um, repackage the rest in mason jars, in little mason jars, but it got really complicated. So now what I do is I make, I make myself spaghetti, but I only make the amount of noodles that I need. And then I save the sauce. And then what I do with the sauce is that I'll make it into lasagna. So I'll just get like the pre-cooked lasagna uh, noodle squares, lay them down, layer of sauce, layer of cheese, new, um, new noodles, layer of sauce, layer of cheese, new noodles, cheese, cook it, done. 
like use it. Um, I haven't had a hamburger made in my kitchen for a while because <sighs> bless the hamburger companies, but I don't, I can make, I can make a hamburger. Like I can. Perfect. I'm reconnected. Come on. Other screen. Do you know I'm here? Good. I'm here. Excellent connection. Perfect. <laughs> um, Okay, I was just ranting about um, lasagna, so we're going to move on from that. Um, protein, though. Get your protein. It's really easy just to snack on snack food, but that has all the sugars and none of the proteins, so you really need the protein. Um, in the mornings during the school year, I'll make myself a smoothie because I have the sugars from the, from the fruits, and then I put some protein powder in it. And that just gets my um, body awake and going. Okay, so let's talk about spices. A, a healthy spice, not healthy, but like robust, a robust spice rack takes a while to accumulate. It really does. Um, because like, I'm, if I go out and buy vanilla, like vanilla extract for cookies, that's like 13 bucks for a little container of vanilla. <laughs> it's crazy. So I would, I would be broke if I was a college student and then going to get all the seasonings and stuff that I have right now. Like if I had to go rebuy all my seasonings, good thing I'm insured. Did you watch that episode? Don't have to be a millionaire to be super like one. Thank you, Athena. Anyways, um, if I had to go rebuy all my seasonings, I <clears throat> would be broke. Okay, so here's how I got most of my seasonings. I really wanted French toast one day. I really did. I just had a hankering for it. I was in college. I made some for my roommate too. I had some bread that was about to go bad, so it was perfect time for it. Well, French toast needs eggs. Got it. Milk. Got it. Cinnamon. Oops, don't got that. Cloves are good in it and nutmeg are good in it. So those three things. I didn't have those. I could have totally gotten away with just cinnamon. But the internet told me I needed all three things. <laughs> so I went and I got it. Um, so I went and I bought those, um, those three things. And now I have them for all the times that I want to have... Um, What am I looking for? French toast. And they come in handy for other things, like when I bake um, cinnamon uh, cookie bars. So good. Slamming. Okay. Um, but all you need to start out is just salt and pepper. And then my point is that go buy the things when you need them. Don't go buy a whole spice rack. Don't go buy everything you need in there. Um, the only reason I have... Um, ground mustard is because I really like making deviled eggs. But you don't need it for literally anything else. But it's super good in tuna. Like if I make a tuna fish sandwich, throw some ground mustard in there. So good. Ground mustard, dill, and um, mayonnaise. Um, I have so many jars or so many containers of um, salad dressing in there. Because I'm like, oh, I really want this salad. And then I forget that I already have Thousand Island, <laughs> Thousand Island dressing in my... Um, my cupboard or my fridge and so I just go buy more or making um, pasta salad same thing so use that to season up your meat too you can like stick your chicken in a bag of um, whatever you literally whatever you have in your fridge um, in terms of salad dressing then it becomes a marinade and it's super good because it soaks in the kitchen or chicken cook it up you have a different kind of chicken every night super good um, <clears throat> learn how to bag leftover, not leftovers, um, extra meat. So if you buy like a big old contain, big old thing of meat, that'll be a lot cheaper than buying like a pack of one chicken breast. Um, but you have to be able to section them off and put them in the freezer. Do that. Get some good, get some good Ziploc bags. They'll last so, so long in there. Um, I think that I talked enough. <laughs> Guys, I need to just clarify, I'm not a chef. This is me learning as I go and hopefully going to pass this on to you. Um, 
I, I made my family a cookbook because there's so many recipes that I was like, Grandma, I really miss that goulash you make. How do I do it? And so she would tell me, and then nobody else would think to ask her, so I have the recipes. <laughs> so I made them into a cookbook that my grandma got for Christmas this year. And then I can do more later. All right, protein. Yeah. So overall, cheaper to eat at home. Think of ways to use your food so that way you don't get bored of it. Like reuse the leftovers into other things. Eat your proteins. Um, don't invest too heavily in spices. You'll get them as you go. Hey, you guys, I was worried that that wouldn't be a whole episode. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to talk about food. But stories are so good. They help. So what I've learned so far is that um, Maya's picky. We do want to have um, Algebra 2 live stream notes on Wednesdays. Again, that'll be... Monday will be me talking to myself, but then Wednesday of next week we'll do it for the next Monday. Um, Algebra 1 I'll live stream on Fridays the same thing. You're welcome to come learn Algebra 1 again if you're in Algebra 2 and want to just <laughs> come hang out. Um, and then Friday what we're going to do is we're going to do interview skills and tying a tie. Seriously though, it's not just, it gets for everybody. We're going to do it together. If you find a tie, bring it. We'll do it like on the stream. Um, and then... Check out my new logo. So I had somebody draw me, and I look like a Pokemon character, and I love it. It's so good. Because um, I'm a YouTuber now. I have a logo. Me, me, me. And please, if you have any questions, I know sometimes it's hard to know what you don't know, and sometimes it's hard for me to know. To no, find like a tie that you can tie. Like we're gonna like do the whole thing, over, under, through. Um. Uh, what was I going to say? If you have any ideas, please help me. I'm running out. I want to keep doing this because I think it's useful. Um, but I just really want to like keep this up. So if you have any questions, it's hard for me to know what you don't know. And it's hard for you to know what you don't know. <laughs> but if there's anything you think of, I can stretch it. I'll teach you all the things about it. And I'll keep looking on Reddit and stuff. I have like a weird headache from turning my head too much. I'm going to look at you anyways. my mug <laughs> once um once again I have a new so I have a new screen here and the laptops here and then you're streaming up there obviously and so I'm like looking at the stream reading the comments making sure that it's on track on YouTube but yeah that doesn't feel good okay <sighs> all right we'll do interview stuff Yes! Clean your house! I have sage, but it's over there. It's far away. I don't like, I don't burn sage. I burn um, Palo Santo. You should look it up. But just as good. <sighs> Thank you. Lauren, are you really that quick? <laughs> or are we not giving you enough work? It's probably this ladder. Or both. Maybe it's both. Or canelos dos. Oh, somebody from the high school's um, doing a voiceover of my math videos in Spanish, which is super exciting. I didn't, like, I'm I'm really cool. I got my voiceover. Also, check out my shirt. <laughs> I just got it today. It's Ollivander's. <laughs> ah, yeah, Lauren, think of things for me to teach you. I, I really enjoy doing this. I just need to cut it down to once a week because I keep forgetting, or I keep um, not having ideas. Yeah, that happens. I get both of those things. <laughs> I like looking at to see how many people have watched my videos each day of the week. Just out of curiosity. 
It is not all of the students. We really need help with that. I don't know how to get everybody. Alright. This was fabulous. I really appreciate this. I think I'm frozen again. No, I'm good. Oh, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna um, not go look at a computer screen for a little bit and then come back for my... Do I have today? I think I have a meeting today. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll do that. So, have a great day. Be good to each other. And, wait, I have my thing still. Let's... Collect knowledge, like Corvus. Collect shiny things. Oh, and there's my um, there's my freaking song. It didn't show up this morning. Rude. YouTube. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Maya. Who else is there? Bye, Whitney.